The Duterte administration appears to be preparing for a record road and bridge building spree that aims to decongest traffic in Metro Manila and major urban centers all over the archipelago. Motoring Today field correspondent Zela Hernandez reports. The administration of President Duterte appears to be moving to spend a record-breaking slice of the national budget for roads, bridges, and other infrastructure projects, as well as railways to help decongest traffic and improve mass transport in Metro Manila and other major urban areas in the country. In news reports, the authorities disclosed that government plans to spend around 5.4% of the gross domestic project for a comprehensive nationwide infrastructure program beginning in 2017. They added that the president has directed the Department of Public Works and Highways, or DPWH, to allocate 25% of its annual budget for projects aimed at decongesting traffic in Metro Manila and other major cities already experiencing the negative effects of traffic congestion. The DPWH said five of these projects are slated to begin construction next year. The Santa Monica Lawton BGC Bridge, the elevated UP Miriam Ateneo Viaduct, the Iloilo Guimaras Negro Cebu Link Bridge, the Davao City Bypass Construction Project, and the NLEX SLEX Connector Road. The Department of Transportation also said it is fast tracking the following projects the 85 kilometer Manila Clark Railway, the Southline Rail Project that will connect Manila to Sorsogon the 2,000-kilometer Mindanao Express that will connect Davao to Cagayan de Oro and Surigao, the Metro Manila Bus Rapid Transit System, and the BGC to Naia Bus Rapid Transit System. The Duterte administration has been doing well in areas that don't get much publicity and motorists should hope that public works and transport authorities would avoid delays in the implementation of vital projects that really look great on paper.